Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Boss, where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the straight and corneum off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryuki, are you sure you're all right? Oh, um, yeah. You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. Why? What is it? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. Of course not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a sinker. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Ugh, <sighs> yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Fine. But promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? Hmm, well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Cho. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, Sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home. But the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. What? You went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. Kid would never let me hear the end of it. I'm sorry. 
Your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. Neither did I. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. Yeah, the entire country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast. And then there was that weird QR code, too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it. But I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So it wasn't a time. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. So, where do you plan on going first? Tama, you take care of Ryukyu, okay? Always. There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are like issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. Boss! I apologize for yesterday! Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please, give me another chance! <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half- But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the Half- Investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. <sighs> I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host and popping every pain bottle in there. It's all right now, because I am here! Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is, I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. Your daughter. I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a girl now. 
she's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Demoted? Me? Oh, and the communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki. Ryuki, you look more drained than a bathtub. Are you okay? Yeah. Were you able to get some sleep? No, not really. But it's fine. This is nothing. If you say so. Not bad. Though you are sweating a little. Because you're radiating heat. If I knew, I would have told you already. Needless to say, Kizuna's phone isn't any help. We asked her friends too, but none of them know where she is. Kizuna disappeared after watching the video, right? I've heard the stories about people going missing after watching some video. It could mean that she's with the other people that disappeared. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting... I think it's safe to say that the QR video has to do with our terror. After all, the QR video that linked there was found on Jin. That connects terror to the disappearances. Meaning if we find where Kizuna and the others disappeared to, we might be able to find terror as well. Well, it was Richi who first reported her missing. It was late and Kizuna wasn't home yet, so he called the police. He thought she might have been for ransom, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So far, it doesn't look like the culprit has tried to contact the family at all. In any case, you have one goal. Find Kizuna, no matter what. Finding her should be a breakthrough in the HB case. Ryuki, Tama, good luck. Roger that. Let's go. What was Terror doing at Sejima's place? So far, we have no idea. But if we find out what they were talking about... Of course, that being said, our priority is to find Kizuna. So we need to find out where this execution chamber is, yeah? That's right. Ryuki, we're ready to go. What do you want from me? It's Boss. She's gotta be strong. Okay. My boots. Hmm? No, you should be saying, as you wish. Say it, Tama. <sighs> As you wish. Good. Make sure you practice being a too. Boss, join the team! Boss has dirt on some major big shots out there. Jeez. Even in this game, Boss is terrifying. I can hear you. This is a crazy- 
crazy one. Ugh, I don't care if it's crazy. Did the attack work or not? It must have worked. Defeated the mansion leader! Huh? Where's Iris? Pewter took her to the medical office. She hit her head, right? She has a... I thought it'd be best to monitor her for a bit. Shouldn't you have done that before the sink? Weren't you the one who said, we need to sink into Iris right away? Huh. I guess I did. If I may interrupt. Shouldn't we be talking about what happened in that Somnium? There were some interesting pieces of information. So's mistress had a child. kid was sent to Iowan. That's one thing, but what I want to focus on is... The execution chamber is... in the abyss of nine axes. Right. If Kizuna really is being held there, we need to find out where it is right away. But how can we tell with that little information? I haven't got a clue what it means. I think it's Devita. Huh? Devita? You mean the studio? No, that's not it. Of course it isn't. It's the president's office at Nye's Japan branch. That's right. There are nine X's there. But that room is at the top floor of the building. How can you call that an abyss? Oh, good point. Somewhere at Sekiba High, maybe. Sekiba All-Girls School? What makes you think that? Well, uh... Um... What do you to think before speaking? I think it's referring to Misaton's rooftop amusement park. What do the X's have to do with that? And how is that an abyss? Nothing better than drinking boss's coffee without permission. Mizuki, I heard you synced into Ryuki, but you didn't get anything out of it. Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. You said you'd let me handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. Ugh. But I did find a lead. Dolly a boat, huh? But what does that get us, exactly? I searched every database I have access to. I did not find anything that connects that name with terror. There's gotta be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't really stable right now. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after... So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? Boss is correct. There is no guarantee that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, but it isn't completely random either. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. True, but... Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. He was carried to the medical office last night. After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. I'm guessing he's again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago, he just needs more time. I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but... I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. Wait, how did you know? Peter told me. <sighs> running his mouth. I'm gonna cut his pay. You're kidding. You should stop cruising bars. Ugh, could you not sound like my daughter? Daughter? Ah. Uh, well, yeah. I had no idea you had a daughter. She's not. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just. No one ever asked. 
Okay, that's enough digging into my private life for the day. You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the half that was found. A 100% match. Masked woman? The shady chick who tried to shoot me with... Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you think that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. Hey, Mizuki. Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. <sighs> Teenagers. Sounds good. But, as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, yeah. Respectful? Roger that, sergeant. Sheesh. Okay, I think I get the picture. Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. I think it's something to do with the HB case, so... Okay then. Pewter? I'm ready to go. This isn't one of Terror's balloons. I suppose not. This is all red. Yeah, sorry to say, it's not the real deal. Boss. Iba told me about Terror's challenge. <sighs> he thinks he can play with us like this. I don't think Terror's balloons are here. How are you doing on your end? Find any yet? Nope, haven't found any yet. Hmm, slacking off on the job, huh? Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm looking for a lost TV remote in my couch or something. I got called here because of a particularly troublesome co-worker. Who? Ryuki. He was too and ended up making a huge mistake. Ryuki found out about the whole balloon thing from Tama. He came to this amusement park to investigate. Some part-timer was working here, dressed up in an Adorabbit costume. He was apparently tying balloons to the fence. When Ryuki saw that... Stop right there! He shouted at him to get his attention, but I guess the guy didn't hear. There was a paper bag at the mascot's feet. Later, we found out it had scissors in it for cutting the strings of the balloons. But when the guy reached down into the bag, Ryuki must have thought it was... Got him? Yeah. A police officer at a civilian. It's unprecedented. This is going to be a real... I cannot apologize enough. This was my mistake. I wasn't paying enough attention. What? Dismissal, but... He's young and inexperienced, but he's an excellent agent. Can we please reconsider? That's surprising. I didn't expect that coming from Boss. Of course, that may not be literally what was said. All that was in a dream, after all. He's getting interrogated at HQ. I saw him earlier. The man looked unstable. <sighs> I just hope he doesn't do anything stupid. <sighs> I need to clean up this mess. Then yell at some people, then do my best brown nosing. I've got a long day of diplomacy ahead of me, so I'm gonna get going. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. Where's Genny? Abnormal activity was detected in his after the sink. It's not anything serious, but Pewter decided to take him to the medical office as a precaution. Is he okay? Like I said, nothing serious. It's not like...
and there shouldn't be any side effects. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, before we do anything, let's solve Terror's annoying little puzzle. The one at Ikume Shrine said three and Indig, right? Yeah. Oh, I know! I know you don't know, so don't say anything. You were probably about to say something even worse. Hora Inst Undig. Horadori Institute Underground. Precisely. Wow, you really outdid yourself, sneaking in without a warrant. Ugh. Um, I'm sorry, boss. Aiba, you need to keep an eye on her. I am functioning just fine as Mizuki's left eye. I should be rewarded for the work I did last night. Yeah, I wouldn't have found that room without Aiba. <sighs> True. What you found was worth bending the rules a little. But this should still warrant a punishment, you know? Boss, I suggest leniency. Mizuki had a strong, personal reason for wanting to search Horidori Institute. The gene. Boss, you knew? Who do you think I am? I know my subordinates so well, I could tell you how many m they have from memory. So, did you know that they weren't my real parents? Yeah. Hmm? What is it? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Well, we're not blood-related either. She's adopted? Yeah, but we get along well. That's nice. I'm kind of jealous. Some families run deeper than blood. Yeah, I know. But I didn't even get along. You have other right? Mizuki, you do have a lot of friends. And most importantly, a boss who's reliable and kind. Kind? I am kind! If an elderly woman was trying to cross the street, I'd stop cars for her. You could also carry her. Thanks, you too. Ah, uh, right. Regarding around the slicer, we tested it for DNA matches. Jin Furaway. Chikara Horidori. Yonaharu Enda. AKA Andy's Komeji, Tokiko Shigure, and one more. One more? Yeah, five different DNA. But we don't know who the fifth person was, which means there might be another yet undiscovered victim. Oh no. Terror's diary. I read it too. There's a ton we can get from it. But the most intriguing thing is the Nirvana Initiative. How are the HB case and that plan related? There is still much we do not understand. We do not know who Terror is and why they were imprisoned there. Okay, I'll give you the rundown. Six years ago, after... The armed vigilantes scurried under whatever rocks they could find across the country. Their group was forced underground. It is thought that they are still active, despite our investigations yielding little results. And, of course, we interrogated everyone we caught as hard as we could. We got a search warrant for Nice, looked through all their documents. But we could not find any evidence. That's why Nice is still kicking today. They are as cunning as they are ruthless. Wait, you haven't gotten any sleep. You should rest first. You're kidding, aren't you? That look in your eyes is telling me to keep fighting through it. You know me very well, Mizuki. Don't push yourself too hard, Mizuki. Sir, yes, sir. Understood. It's quite a shock, though. Amame was the one who killed Uru and Tokiko. I never said that. But she's suspicious as all, isn't she? So, you met him with the intent.
I'm glad it'll wear off in six months or so. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret. She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? N no, that's not it. Why? Well, isn't it obvious? We were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard. Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? So uncool, uncool. Not as uncool as Where has nothing to do with it. And excuse you, it was really cute. I want to see. Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. But... I wanted to ask about my pay. This again? But... Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So, I have a special present for you both. A present? It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place. Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, but... I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Well then? Yeah, let's get going.